Okay, now I'm going to show you a colonial knot. It looks similar to a French knot. Um, some people complain about their French knots tipping over and the colonial knot won't do that. So I'm going to hold my thread here. The needle is going under and then I bring a wrap back around this way. And if I loosen it up, there's a figure eight there on my needle. I'm going to pull it up taut and take the needle back down right next to where I came up and I'm going to hold on to that while I pull it down. So let me do that again. I'm bringing it up where I want my knot. I'm holding my thread. I'm bringing the needle down. I'm going from left to right under the thread. And then I'm bringing the thread over the top of the needle and then back under it. And there's my figure eight. I'm going to put the needle down here. I'm going to pull the wraps up. And again, so let me do it again. I bring the needle up where I want my stitch. I'm holding the thread. I'm bringing the needle under the thread from left to right. Then I'm bringing my thread that I'm holding on to over the top of the needle from, well, it's underneath here, so I'm going back towards the right and then under the needle again to the left down right next to where it is, pull my loops up, and I'm going to hold on to it and take it down. Now, if you want a bigger colonial knot, we're going to start it the same way, holding on to the thread, going under it from left to right, then I'm going back over it, and wrap it a second time if you want a bigger knot. Then I'm going back down, Hold on to it so that my wraps stay tight and pull through to the back. And that's the colonial knot.